This occurring challenge is day 12 in the 30 days of code challenge. This is called inheritance and we're going to be looking at object oriented programming. The point of this exercise is to create a class, receive details to initialize the values inside that class. And in this case, that class is going to be a student class. And then we also need to create a method to calculate the scores of the students and return the average of their grades as a character. So first, let's look at the code that is already given as part of this challenge. This person class is what we call the base class, and it has three protected member variables, meaning that these member variables can be accessed in derived classes. So we have the first name and the last name of the students with the ID of the students, and then we have this public access specifier so this is a public constructor. We can pass two strings for the first name and the last name, and also an ID to that constructor to initialize the member variables. And then we also have this basic print person method, which prints the name of the students and their ID. In the main function here, they have two strings. They also have an ID for the students. And then here they have a num scores integer variable, and they initialize all of them through these input statements. Then they have this vector of integers, which is called scores. And this for loop is used to initialize the values inside that vector or you can say populate the values inside that vector. So once they have all the values for the scores of the students inside that scores vector, they then create a student object. So when they create that object, they pass the first name, the last name, the ID, and the scores vector to the constructor. Then they call the print person method on the students. And finally, they print the grade of the students by calling the calculate method on the students. So our job here is to work on the student class and the constructor for the student class. And finally, the calculate method for the student class. When I scroll up here, I've already written the code, but I think that this is already given these four lines. So what we have here is the student class inheriting publicly from the person class, which is the base class. And then we have this private vector to store the individual scores of the students. And then we have this public access specifier. And in here, we have our own constructor. So our constructor takes in four values or four parameters, the first name, last name, the ID, and a vector, and we pass the first three values to our person base class. Because if you look at the base class here in the constructor, they use the first name, last name, and the ID as parameters. But in our case, we also have a vector. And if you want to copy values from a vector parameter, to a private vector like this, the recommended way is to use a for loop, loop through the vector parameter and copy all the values inside your private vector here. So that's what I'm doing here. I have this for loop, then I'm looping through the scores parameter here, and I'm pushing all the values using the pushback method inside of my test scores vector. So once I have all my member variables initialized, we can proceed to the calculate function. It's supposed to calculate the average of all the values corresponding to the scores of the students and return the grade as a character. So if the average that we calculate is between 90 and 100, then we need to return an O. Otherwise, we return an E if it's between 80 and 90 and so on. So this calculate function needs to return a character. I also have the same thing. I have a char calculate function. So I have this integer variable for my grade. Then here, I sum up all the scores of the students inside this for loop. And once I have the total values for the scores, I can divide my grade by the size of my vector, which is the number of scores to get the average as the grade. So if the student had a total of 800 and they had 10 scores, then we're going to do 800 divided by 10 and the grade here would be 80. And here I'm using conditional statements to return the correct character based on the rules that they have here in this table. You can pause this video and look at this piece of code for yourself. I'm going to run this now. We've passed the sample test case. So let's submit it now. We have eight test cases and we've passed all of them. So again, this person class was the base class. This student class was the derived class. We had our own constructor here. I used member initialization to pass values to the member variables in the base class. Then I copied all the values from my vector parameter inside of my own private vector which is test scores. Then I created this char function to calculate the grade of the students and return the correct character. So that's it for day 12 in this HackerRank series. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and I'll catch you next time.